One of the ways that you can make sure JobTread is customized to support your business practices is through the use of custom data views. Throughout the system, you'll notice tables similar to this one that are fully customizable so you can show the data that you need access to right front and center. So here you'll notice in this table, we have multiple columns that we're viewing and we're currently viewing all jobs. Now, if I click on this drop down menu, I can see multiple custom views and I can toggle between them to view various information as needed. Now, if you would like to customize your table view, all you need to do is click on this gear icon and a drawer pops out on the right hand side where then you can choose the fields or the columns that you're viewing and the order in which you're viewing them. You can hide certain columns. Now it's not deleting the data, it's simply hiding the columns from that table view. And then you can also scroll down and show additional columns based on data that's already in the system or any of your custom views for that particular location. And then also you can choose to rearrange these columns so they're viewed in the order that you'd like to show them. Now, if you click the apply button at the bottom, you'll notice that it's going to give you a preview of the changes on that table. If you click save, it will save and override your existing view that you're seeing with those changes. And then if you click save as you can create a new custom view and automatically that view will be available for you personally to see. And then you can also choose to convert that to an organization view when you're ready. And that way it'll share it with the rest of your organization. Now, if you go to the sort tab, you can choose to sort the data. So currently we're sorting the jobs by the created date in ascending order. And then also we have our filters and this is where you can choose to add filters to filter in or filter out data in your view. Now these table views are available in your jobs tool, your documents tool, customers, your vendor directory, your catalog, and even up in your schedule views as well. Another great way that you can organize your data within JobTread is through the use of Kanban views. Kanban views are kind of like whiteboard views that are going to show all of your data in beautiful columns and then you can move your data between the various columns to update their statuses. So here, let's take a look at how we can build out a Kanban view for our jobs. When we click on this gear icon, the drawer will open where we can customize our data view. And then you'll notice the section that says display as Kanban. So when I click on this drop down menu, all of these fields here are custom fields that were added to my jobs. And I'll show you custom fields in just a moment. But these are custom fields that are the pick list option type. So if we click job status, and then we click the apply button to preview our changes, you'll now notice that it's going to show us all of our jobs according to the status that the job is in. Now currently we're seeing one, two, three uh, fields of data directly on each of these cards. If I'd like to increase that, I can go ahead and add um, the number of data I'd like to see and then click apply and you'll notice that each card then expands the data. Those fields are based on this fields tab and it will be the top six fields in this case that are shown on this card. Now at any point I can also click on this show all fields option to expand and see all of the fields that I've chosen to display as well. You can also choose to sort any of your data. So this is sorting the cards in each column in whichever order I'd like to. And then also I can choose to filter in or filter out data that's showing on my Kanban view here. Now, the, remember I had mentioned that they are pick list custom fields that will allow you to show your data in Kanban views. So in order to make sure you have a pick list custom field, we'll go into our settings and then we'll go to our custom fields tab and then any field that is listed as single option or multiple options is considered a pick list custom field. So let's head down to our jobs location here. And you'll notice that when I click plus custom field, I then can choose the pick list option and then I'll put my various options in here. A pick list is essentially a drop down selection choice. So A, B, C, and D are my four options here. I can add a name for that field. Um, 
And then I can also choose whether or not I'm going to allow multiple values for that. But once I create that custom field, now I can head back to my jobs tool, click on that gear icon, and I will notice that the type is now an option. And then I can see the various columns for that particular custom field. And then all my jobs are listed here to then be able to drag and drop into the appropriate custom field column as needed.